Good morning, everybody. I'm Nikki Stanzione. And I'm Krista Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style. Brand new week. Welcome to Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Yes, and it's actually a very monumental day for us yes. here at New Mexico Style. We're not going to do all the hoopla and craziness, but we do want to at least make a mention of the fact that we are on or around our 500th episode of New Mexico Style. Exciting stuff. Yes, Yay. yes, yes, yes. That's pretty cool, huh? Really a fun long, it's been a fun road. We That's deserve confetti. Road. Fun road. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, it's, you know, it's amazing. You think about a lot of TV shows and, you know, if they make it past the 13 episode in a season or, you know, for sitcoms and things of uh, that nature. Mm -hmm. But for a show like ours, you know, we're on five days a week, every week of the year. And, you know, year after year, we continue to get so much support from all of our sponsors, our guests, and of course our viewers. So we thank you. We thank yeah. you and we hope Hope to have at least 500 more so thank you so much for that been ongoing yes mm -hmm. now forget 500 how about thousands thousands mm -hmm. of people including Kristen hit the road this weekend for the Duke City Marathon oh yeah it was a fun weekend here's was some it? video of it top honors went to Solomon Candy who won the full marathon Aww. and Muhammad Fidel won the half marathon. Well, how did your relay do? I was on a relay team. I didn't do the marathon or anything like that, but mm -hmm. we, um, a group of five of us, that's how the relay works, we all together do a complete marathon. Right. We finished somewhere in the middle of the co-ed. We were flash wham. <laughs> that lady walks like up. me. Uh, yeah, we were, uh, I, I was, I was a lot slower this year. You were? I was six minutes slower than oh, last no. year. Six whole minutes for my 4.8 miles I ran. <laughs> Well, first of all, you did like a 900 wee hour week the week before with balloon yeah. fiesta. <laughs> and so I haven't been running. So, that was the thing. I hadn't been running. Yeah. And I was like, well, and here's the other thing, too. When I had to hand off my baton, I forgot where it was. I still thought I had a long <laughs> time to go. I wait to turn up the heat, you know? Oh I was like, la di da, la di da. And then that last mile, I'll always kick it up and go really fast. So I'll right. make up my time there. Mm -hmm. Well, I came around the corner. It was the time to hand thing. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, I never got to that the miserable point. You gotta oh, get no. to the miserable yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, you do. I never got to the miserable point. Because it remotivates so. you. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the rest of the team pulled through and got the times up. Well, good for you for at least doing it. You know, they did come on the show and give us t-shirts, and um, I had to go to the supermarket yesterday to do some food shopping, and everyone was asking how I did in the marathon because I was wearing the shirt, and I was like, do I tell the truth or don't I tell uh, the truth? So I was like, oh, I, I, I have friends that were in it. I didn't do it. And they're like, you should have lied because that's pretty cool. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I'm, I'm, have you been running the shirt? Um, <laughs> I don't run much. First of all, my leg is still killing me uh, from when shirt. I fell on my platform heel. Yeah. So, yeah, so running is out of the question. Meanwhile, yeah, got to rest that. Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Congratulations Thanks. for, even if it is a little shorter, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I went, did, did Matt do it? No, no. We had a group from KRQE and some other people. Okay. It was some of the producers, photographers. So it was a fun group. Well, so hopefully yeah. he's he's nice and relaxed this morning. He didn't have to do a crazy marathon yesterday. No. Let's check in with KRQE News 13 and anchor Matt Morrow with this morning's headlines. Hi, Matt. Hey, ladies. And hey, Kristen. Here's the good news is that you have 364 days to get ready for next year. Very good point. Nice. Very good it. point. <laughs> All right. At 8.03 well, in the news this morning, tens of thousands of people here in New Mexico will be looking for new doctors in the next few weeks, all because two healthcare companies cannot play nice loveless and abq health partners could not come up with a new contract earlier this year so as a result starting november 8th loveless insurance will stop covering visits to doctors in the abq health partner system well yesterday both sides took out full page ads in the albuquerque journal you may have ex seen them explaining their sides of the story loveless is accusing abq health partners of misstating facts while abq health partners is telling patients to stay in the system and just find a different insurance company that's what one patient we talk with says he simply had to do where the medications and stuff I need to find doctors and stuff like that who will do that is you have to jump through hoops to do it. And I'm not willing to do that anymore. I, I'm going to switch and keep my uh, Albuquerque Health Partners doctors is what I want to do. Well, this story goes well beyond newspaper ads. Loveless is now suing ABQ Health Partners, saying it's been telling patients to leave Loveless. And Loveless says that's simply against the law. As many as 115,000 people with Loveless's insurance could be affected by all of this. We'll let you know how it ends up. Well, everybody knows the economy isn't necessarily booming right now. But one of the ways Governor Susana Martinez wants to fix this is to have students go to college here in New Mexico and stay here and work. In News 13, David Romero found one of these students at UNM. It's something Tassandre White has wanted for a long time. My dad kind of prompted me to do hygiene because my mom is a hygienist, and so that's what made me want to do hygiene. And on top of it, it's such a great field. Finishing her senior year in the UNM dentistry program, White says she didn't have to look much further than her mom for the inspiration. 
having her also tell me stuff from her history and just being a hygienist, working clinically. She said it's very different, you know, working in here and then when you go to the real world. And then when she started in the program, she got very enthusiastic. And when she started college, she took it very serious and, and she seems to really enjoy it. Cherie White has been at it now for 25 years. She also says it was important right. for her to maintain her career here in her home state, something the governor has also touted in at least two economic summit meetings in the last few weeks. You're doing great. Thank you. She's very excited that she's like, hey, mom, we can do some community programs together. And so, you know, as I get a little older and probably want to slow down and retire, I probably will continue to try to maintain my licensing so I can participate with her on some of those things. And we're looking forward to that. New Mexico has a lot of wonderful things here, like uh, a lot of areas that do need help and do need dental. So it's kind of nice because the growth, there's so much more growth within the field. And um, our program has a master's program, so it allows you to go further beyond just being a clinical hygienist. You can work you know, as an instructor and in pu public health, and um, New Mexico is a perfect place to work for hygiene. Not just making a difference for patients, but hopefully making a difference in the state. Those News 13's David Romero and UNM's dentistry department is celebrating its 50th anniversary this weekend and says, in fact, most of the people who graduate from it do end up working here in New Mexico. Well, tonight is the third and final debate between President Obama and Mitt Romney. It's the final face-off, so to speak, and it could have a very big effect on this year's election. They're both in Boca Raton, Florida, and this time they're going to focus on foreign policy. You can bet that Libya and Iran will both be hot topics. In fact, you can watch that debate tonight on KRQE. It starts at 7 o'clock. Back here in New Mexico, who stole a state Senate candidate's campaign signs? That's what one person's campaign is going to try to find out later today. Let's take a look at this surveillance video we got a hold of. It shows someone stealing Lisa Taraco's campaign signs in a neighborhood across from Tanawan in the Northeast Heights. You can see the two men. There they are. They're the two white things toward the right of the screen. They're walking, stealing signs. Then they get in this car and drive off. So now Lisa Taraco's supporters are taking signs inside at night and putting them back out during the day. She's running against Bill Talman. He's a Democrat and says no one from his campaign stole those signs. In fact, he says he's had some of his bigger signs stolen from another area of town. They cost about $80 a piece. Well, firefighters will be keeping a close eye on the chimney fire in the Sandias later today. Right now they have the fire 25% contained. It's burned about 20 acres in a very steep and rugged area. And this is video from when the fire started on Friday. You can see smoke from that all across the city. You should know all the hiking trails are open, but the La Luz and Piedra Lisa trail parking lots are closed because the firefighters are keeping their equipment there. Investigators are still trying to figure out exactly how that fire started. And that does it for your morning headlines. Be sure to get more of them every day starting at 430 on KRQE News 13. Nikki and Kristen will send it back over to you. Thank you, Matt. Have a Thank good you. week. You too. And it is the beginning of a work week, and it's back to work this morning for the Lobo football team mm -hmm. after a really tough loss this weekend. You know, early on, it looked as though they could nab their fifth win for the season against Air Force in Colorado Springs. Yeah, but it was a tough game, a close game. In the end, uh, they ended up losing 28-23. But the Lobos will take on Fresno State this weekend. So, you know, it was a tough loss, but mm -hmm. hey, they are doing really well this season <laughs> on the upside. So. I mean, you really can't even compare from the last few seasons. And when you see, a, you know, that close of a game, it still shows that they're really they're really doing they're really well. Yeah, they're doing a lot better. Yeah, so, so it's exciting times. We'll have to hope for a win this weekend. Yeah. Now, about 50 new Mexicans were in Rome when they celebrated 50 new saints getting canonized, including Kateri Takakwitha, the first Native American saint. The Archbishop of Santa Fe, Michael Sheehan, is also led the trip. Kateri Takakwitha was born into this New York state. Kateri Takakwitha was one of seven people named saints at the Vatican this weekend. Uh, Franciscan nun Marian Cope was also canonized. She's known for caring for lepers in an isolated colony in Hawaii back in the 19th century. Most of the new saints were missionaries. Wow, very, very exciting. Very, very cool for them. Mm -hmm. I always want to go to Rome. I don't think I'm going to be a saint anytime soon, but, <laughs> but, I, but I'd like to go to the homeland. There anyway, okay, so I have a totally different, unrelated question for you. Right. Did you get to have a chance and see the Orion ID meteor shower this weekend? Yes, the Orion. You did? I did see it Friday night. <gasps> I missed it. Uh, Friday night and Saturday night. It peaked actually Saturday night right before the sun came up, but there was a really good viewing of it Friday night. I went up to Chama, actually. And, it's Orion uh, it, isn't it? I said Orion, Orion ID. Yeah, I said, <laughs> I, I said okay. It's close to 
actually know. Yeah, yeah, but it was really beautiful, and we actually have a picture of it. You do? Of the meteor shower over Stonehenge <gasps> in England, oh. and so it happens basically every October. That's when the Earth moves through the debris from Halley's Comet. We plow mm. right into it, so we, we see more, you know, active meteors and stuff, and we're, all go we're gonna see another meteor shower peak coming up November 10th, and you may see a few of those flying as well, so just beautiful stuff. Yeah. And, that's gorgeous. Yeah, so you still, if you missed it Saturday night, uh, you can still see them through the night. And again, we'll see another meteor shower peaking on November 10th. So Very more nice. Stuff, more I miss all the good stuff. But what I did not miss was the sunset last night. If you were on my Facebook, you saw the picture I posted. It was one of the most breathtaking sunsets. And I was really, I was kind of just one of those moods. You know, you have some days where you're just kind of down or whatever. And I was out and about, and I was like, ah. Oh. Miss my family, life is crappy, blah, blah, blah. And I looked up at the sky and I was like, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> the spectacular sunset. Oh, sunset my God. Here. Sometimes you need that reminder from Mother mm -hmm. Nature that things could be a lot worse. So is it going to continue to stay beautiful out? Because the it weather has been nice. nice. It's going to be really warm this afternoon. And we're mm -hmm. going to be looking at nice weather for tomorrow, too. Some changes later on in the week. Before yeah. we get to that, I wanted to show you a picture. I went up to Chama. I stayed at the Elkhorn Lodge. Hmm. So it was beautiful it's there. Gorgeous. There's still some color there. Got to ride the Chama train too, but this just took my breath away. The That's night gorgeous. sky over Chama, and this is one of the pictures of it. And you can, I for the first time saw the Milky Way. I've never been able to see that before. <laughs> oh my gosh! In person, and you, you can see it in that photo there, and it was so cool to see at night. Just beautiful.